guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and watching. In today's video, I will be sharing with you an Aldi haul. Um, I tried to do a little bit of filming in the store, but it was just so crazy busy in there that that just wasn't going to happen. Welcome to uh, 4th of July in Northern Michigan. So anyways, without further ado, let's get started on the grocery haul. And here is my Aldi's grocery haul. It was pretty busy in there today, so... I wasn't able to film in there. It was absolutely crazy. I live in an area where our population explodes from July 4th until September. And it goes from a population of about 35,000 to about 250,000 overnight. So I wasn't able to film in the store. But without further ado, let's jump right into this. We'll start with the snack. I picked up some of the woven whole wheat crackers, the cracked pepper flavor. These are really good and are good for like cheese and crackers. I picked up a thing of the frosted chocolate fudge pop tarts. And I also picked up a thing of the fancy corn chips for snacks. I picked up a thing of the original flavor bugles. I also picked up some of the original flavor baked potato chips. So everybody knows that watches my videos knows that I love these. I also picked up a thing of cinnamon toast crunch. And just a thing of the white round tortilla chips. Salsa and queso. Also picked up. Uh, Anything of the chocolate chip dipped granola bars. And I picked up the peanut butter chocolate dipped granola bars. Those are really yummy. I also picked up a can of milk. I'm completely out of that. I picked up two things of the creamy Alfredo sauce. I'm gonna make a shrimp dish later with some linguine and make some of that. Picked up a thing of the German style sauerkraut. This stuff is really good. If anybody's into sauerkraut, this stuff is really, really good. I was completely out of coffee creamer, so I picked up a thing of the caramel macchiato coffee creamer. And moving right along. I picked up a thing of the breaded chicken breast patties to make some chicken sandwiches for dinner sometime this week. I picked up a thing of the original sausage links for breakfast. These are really good. I also picked up a thing of the assorted pork chops. Some of them with bone in, some of them without. Picked up a thing of the roast turkey breast for sandwiches. Got a thing of seasoned fries because, well, my family loves fries, so got some of those. Got some of the um, pork sausage patties to make uh, sausage sandwiches for breakfast. Picked up a thing of pork sausage for a couple recipes, or one recipe that I have later on this week. Thing of the cut frozen green beans and the super sweet corn. I also picked up a thing of the New England, or two things of the New England clam chowder soup. Got some roses. Okay, pretty. Got a thing of the English muffins for the sausage sandwiches. Got a thing of the small um, flour tortillas for tacos or fajitas, whichever. Also picked up some romaine for salads and such this week. Go through a lot of that. And also picked up some bell peppers just for salads and any recipes that might need them. Completely out of white onions, so I had to pick up some of that. And I ended up picking up the Vidalia onions because I like those a lot. So, 
We've got some cream cheese to go with our blueberry bagels. And it's definitely stuck to my daughter for that, so she'll be happy. We've got some blueberries, because, well, that's a staple in our house. Got some sour cream, got tacos and whatever. Got an English cucumber. Picked up some minced garlic. Got some raspberries. I was gonna pick up some strawberries, but I decided to wait because the strawberries are in season in our area, so I figure that would be better. I just have to pick them up yet. Got up some, picked up some spinach. Got three blocks of cheese. One is the extra sharp Wisconsin cheddar cheese, a block of Colby Jack, and a block of pepper jack. Should be some cheese. Picked up some of the pre sliced hard salami for cheese and crackers. Picked up some green onions. Got some tomatoes to make some BLTs later on this week. Got some cherry tomatoes for some salads. And snacking because my daughter loves to snack on those. Picked up some string cheese. Got a dozen eggs. Thing of bananas for smoothies and just for eating. So pick up a bag of the pre-shredded mild cheddar cheese. And since this weekend is the 4th of July, I thought I would make up some cupcakes. So I got some of the chocolate mix and then a white mix. And then I got some chocolate frosting and some cream cheese frosting and then Start the show. The sprinkles that go on top. So it'll be nice and festive. Picked up two things of the Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. I was out of chicken broth, which is kind of unusual, but so I had to pick some of that up. Picked up a thing of the classic Caesar. And I do believe that is it. Oh, well, and yeah, this big old watermelon. I don't know how I missed that, but can't have 4th of July without watermelon, so picked up a nice one of those. Can't wait to see of that. But there it is, in all its glory, the total I spent for this haul was $121.01. .01. I don't think that's too bad. And that was my Aldi haul for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I wasn't able to film in the store, but hey, maybe next time. I'd like to try and be able to get a little bit more filming in the store, but when it's as crazy as it was this week, that just wasn't gonna happen, so. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.